Hey guys, it's Jess. What's up? Welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, we are doing a 2021 fashion trends report forecast and my predictions for the upcoming trends for 2021. Now in these videos, I cover colors that are going to be big, styles, designs, prints, patterns, as well as certain pieces. So it's a very comprehensive look at all the trends. And one final thing I wanna say before we hop into this video, you don't have to buy these trends if you don't want to, if you don't like them. Style is all so subjective, it is so, what you like to wear, what you want to wear, what matches you and your personality. So if you don't dig these, if you're not into them, that is cool. And along with that, I also want to say you don't have to spend tons and tons of money buying each and every single one of these trends, unless you're like absolutely obsessed with them, then like go off, but you don't have to. A lot of these trends you might already have in your closet. A lot of these things can be found secondhand. Wear what you want to wear because you want to wear it. And if you want to wear these trends, you don't have to spend tons and tons of money. If you guys like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family so you never miss a video. And now, Let's get into the video. First up, let's talk about color. So something you guys may or may not know is that every year, Pantone picks two colors to be the colors of the year. Now, these are colors that they think will represent the year, and the two colors they picked for 2021 are Illuminating Gray and Banana Yellow. I think gray is a very beautiful color, and I think Banana Yellow is definitely something very fun to play with. It's a great, pop of something and of course like they don't necessarily have to be worn or styled together. So the reason that these two colors were picked as the colors of the year is because of what they represent. So these two colors represent hope and optimism as well as unity and stability. So that was kind of like the vibe they were putting out into the world that 2021 is hopefully going to be better and we're gonna be optimistic about it. But in addition to those, there are several other colors that are on the watch list for this year as being huge throughout the year. So first and foremost, let's talk about shades of green. Now shades of green is not something particularly new. I would say maybe since spring of last year, shades of green have started to become more and more popular. They were a huge style trend last year. And with the shades of green that were really big, it was mostly leaning towards the lighter color spectrum of sages and the more lime green, pastel greens. But this year we are including some of those with colors like green ash, which essentially is a kind of minty seafoam green. There's also Tidewater Green. And keeping in line with last year, the more pastel soft shades of green. We've got Willow, which is a very gold toned olive. I think this is one color that is going to be absolutely huge throughout the year, especially playing with like metallics and having that undertoned gold be really present. I think that is going to be so beautiful. And stepping right over on the color wheel, we've also got some shades of blue that are going to be big this year as well. So one color is a deep navy. It's called Inkwell on Pantone. This is just a gorgeous like dark navy color so we've got kind of like the jewel tones playing up additionally we've got cerulean which is going to be popping up everywhere this year i have already seen this starting to emerge what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue it's not turquoise it's not lapis it's actually cerulean the rise of cerulean is here and one more notable shade of blue is french blue so french blue is essentially a nice bright bold cobalt shade now let's talk pinks and reds so first up we've got amethyst orchid which is the truest violet we've also got fuchsia being big this year and to my personal dismay we've got coral being a big shade now on its own i dig coral but you know what's also popular that I already mentioned? Seafoam Green Mint. Does anybody else remember the uh, like 2011, 2010, 2012 phase where like seafoam green mint and coral together were just like the biggest thing. It was on clothes, on jewelry, on accessories. It was everywhere. Oh, it just reminds me so much of high school. Moving right along, we've got the final few colors that are forecasted to be big. We've got champagne. We've got gold, we've got marigold, which I, another one, very excited about. And for our more neutral inspired colors, we've also got buttercream, khakis, 
and Desert Mist, which essentially is kind of a more warm toned camel or like a butterscotch kind of color. And of course, during spring and probably early summer, we'll have pastels popping up, which are always very popular during that time of year. But for this year, we've got a lot of fun colors to play with. And I think the reason that we have so many fun, bold, bright colors to play with this year is because last year, so many of us, I mean, like I personally, I just wore a lot of simple, basic, casual, chill type of things. And I think in 2021 for fashion, a lot of the fashion and the trends are going to be looking towards having fun with expressing yourself again. And I really think that's going to be such a huge element of fashion this year, really having that vibrant, that bold, that fun, that confident energy to all of the trends and the styles and the pieces and what people wear. So typically I keep styles and designs and prints and patterns as two different categories, but there's not too many prints and patterns that are popping up on my radar. So I'm just gonna combine them all into one whole thing. So starting off, I have seen checkered print and variations on checkered print pop up everywhere. I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. I really think this is going to be big throughout spring into summer and even maybe into fall with like darker color palettes. Now the other print and pattern that is on my radar for this year is bold floral print. Now, the reason I say this is because it was all over runways. One style that's on my list for styles and designs is 60 style and something super big in 60 style were those big bold floral patterns. And another era of fashion that is going to be hugely impactful on this year's fashion is and has been 80 style. 80 style has been super popular and increasingly so, and we'll see this again in certain design elements such as the big bold shoulders that we of course have seen over the last year. But a lot of those bigger, bolder shoulders and sleeves were more influenced by the Victorian style, which I think is kind of a bit more on like the decline of the trend stage of it. But the 80s style, more types of shoulders and sleeves, I think are going to kind of develop from that. So instead of just having the big full sleeves, we are going to have the very 80s style shoulders going on. Now for our last few styles and designs, we're gonna dive into consumer psychology. So something again, that was huge with last year is we were all in quarantine. After wearing comfy clothes and pajamas and sweats and athleisure for nearly a year, a lot of consumers are wanting to be sexy again. A lot of people wanna like dress up and have fun with their clothing. The next few style and design trends are very based in the antithesis of that. One of those huge style design trends that make people feel sexy and get to show a little bit of skin is cutouts. Little keyhole cutouts on the front, on the back. You might have cutouts on sleeves, cutouts on dresses. I feel like for summer, a lot of cutout bathing suits. Well, cutout bathing suits are always pretty popular, but I feel like they'll be especially popular this year. So the rise of the cutout is definitely here. And along with this like kind of sexy vibe, we've also got the sheer top. Very fun to play with, very fun to layer with. And if you wanna take advantage of like this sheer top, but it's a little bit too much for you, you wanna tone it down a bit or maybe keep it a little bit more low key, one thing you can do is layer the sheer top over a cami instead of a bra top. You can also layer the sheer top under something. So under a tank top or a short sleeve, you really can get creative with these trends and make them work for your style and what you're comfortable wearing and what you're comfortable styling. Winding down to our two final designs. Well, they're actually like more of details. Details are like certain things about a piece. So first up, we've got hardware, metal detailing on a piece. So I think we're gonna see this in the way of little chains, little chain details. Finally, we've got expressive textures, things like ruching, we've got things like puckering, we've got things like, like think of the popcorn shirts that we grew up with. Any sort of fabric or piece that has a lot of texture is very fun and very dynamic with that texture is something I think we'll see a lot of this year. Now let's talk about pieces because there are a ton of pieces that are going to be particularly trendy this year. First up, we've got loose fitting pants and trousers. So the reason that this one is big this year is also influenced by consumer psychology. So last year, we wore a lot of sweats. We wore a lot of comfy clothes because we've enjoyed a year of truly dressing so comfortable in our work from home type of lives. People just want comfy fitting pants. They wanna look nice, they wanna look good, but they also wanna just feel comfortable. So away from the more fitted 
silhouettes of trousers and pants. We are now embracing baggier and looser fitting jeans and trousers. So we've got jeans like straight leg jeans, wide leg jeans, got a lot of flared jeans. Even the boot cut jean is making a return, though many people vowed they would just never come back. Trench coats are something that are truly going to be so huge for this year. And trench coats are a wardrobe classic. It's something that is so timeless. It is something that is always in style, always something that is so wearable. But in 2021, the trench coat as a piece is going to be hyper trendy because there are going to be so many variations of the trench coat made. We'll see trench coats in different fabrics, in different colors, in different styles, with different design elements. Bra tops and bralettes is something I've also talked about. Belted items, pieces, and outfits are another thing that are going to be so huge for this year. If you wanna change something up, dress something up, add a little bit of like a snatched moment, toss on a belt and you got it. Another thing that I'm so excited about is the oversized button up. Now I'm very excited about this one because I think we're gonna see a lot of evolution with the button up this year. So we'll see a lot of button up dresses. We'll see different silhouettes with some fun proportions and like bigger sleeves and more fuller bottoms, a lot of different colors, different fabrics. And I feel like there's just going to be so much fun design with the oversized button up because it is such a classic type of piece. And the final popular piece that I'm projecting, anything that has a bit more of a sporty vibe, I think is going to be quite popular this year. And windbreakers have been quite popular for the last couple of years, but I think with the influence of the 80s style, we'll see a lot of 80s inspired outerwear and fun 80s inspired windbreakers and sporty jackets. Those are the styles and the prints and the patterns and the colors and all the things to look forward to this year. Personally for me, I am very excited about this year's fashion and like where fashion is headed for this year because I think it's the perfect blend of like sexy and playful and bold, but also comfortable and just wearable and practical. So I think it'll be fun to see what kind of styles and trends and outfits get put together this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full rundown on all of the upcoming trends, as well as my predictions, my little forecast on this year. I think it's always so cool to see how these trends change and evolve and what other trends come up and pop up when you least expect them. Now for today's quote of the day, today's quote is pretty directly reflective of what I was just chatting about, of wearing what you wanna wear because you wanna wear it. So today's quote is from Yves Saint Laurent and it says, fashions fade, style is eternal. Now this quote essentially means that trends are gonna come and go, fashion styles, designs are going to come and go, but it's all about creating your unique style. Fashion and style is so different because fashion is kind of given to you, it's kind of fed to you. But style is wearing what you wanna wear because you like to wear it. So my advice, my words of wisdom that I want you guys to walk away with today is to figure out your style, figure out what you like to wear, figure out what makes you feel beautiful and confident and what is unique to you. Figure out what your style is and run with it because again, fashions fade, but style is eternal. If you wanna keep up with me throughout the week and get some style inspo and the random chatty Instagram story, whatever, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Jessica Nice Chat. I think that's all I've got for today. So I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.